Here we are back in the cook's pantry. I've got a dear friend of mine, Georgia Barnes, in here with us, and we are gonna be cooking not your average nachos. It's got all of the, the amazing elements, renowned for nachos, the corn chips, the cheese, the salsa, and also, can meet your daily veg quota, I reckon, in one meal. I'm gonna have a go at it anyway. It's got everything there, ready to rock and roll. You guys are yep. gonna love it. <laughs> okay, where do we start? Where do we start? Give me a job. Spices. Spices. So, Mexican spices. Keeping it simple though, just three. Cumin. Toasting. Yep, toasting, dry pan. Smoked paprika. Nice. And some ground coriander. Right. So about a tablespoon of cumin, tablespoon of smoked paprika and teaspoon to a tablespoon of the ground coriander. Onion and garlic. Yep. And then that's the basis. So where you usually add meat or you're making like a tomato based sort of salsa for your nacho sauce, we're gonna use a heap of green veg. Sweet. And some black beans. Black beans. Yeah, so that's yeah. gonna give it that, that richness and that body. Yep. We've got an onion. Yep. Finely diced. And then some garlic as well. And right now, already you can smell it. I love the fact, like veggie dishes, yeah. This is the opportunity where you go nuts yeah. with the spices. Exactly. So what we're going to do now is get our veg component ready. So I've got a, a, a broccoli here. You can use anything, by the way. So it's whatever yep. you've got. Fridge raid. I'm just using all green veg because we talk all the time about hiding veggies for kids. And I actually think that we need to hide veggies for ourselves and adults. So it's, I feel yeah. like it's... it's, um, it's there's, there's the hiding component, but then there's the, also the creativity behind it because there's so many people that would look at a box of veg and go, yeah. what am I gonna do, steam it, roast it, stir fry it. Yeah. And, and that's pretty much where it sits. So then you go, right, let's throw some sweet nachos in the mix, mm -hmm. teach them how to do it, how to put it together. And it's just that, it's that little creative spark that it gives to people and, and they, they look at veggies in a different way. I've also got um, the stalk of the broccoli. Don't throw that away. It's best a part. prime. It's the best part. And especially in something like this, there's a lot of texture in there too. So I just sort of cup up like that and then leave it even a little bit chunky. Are we going in? We're going in. So, oh, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Lose a finger on telly. Um, the other thing, we're going to use some beautiful little kalets. Which are a new type of veggie. It's like, a, it's kind of, think Brussels sprout, but hipster. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> Am true. I wrong? Yeah, and we're just going to shred them. There's so nothing wrong with it. They're amazing. They're I, awesome. I do use Brussels sprouts often. They're one of my favourite vegetables, but this is a really nice twist on it. You've got some kale, you've got some silver beet. Um, get Cauliflower, it, get it in like there. really anything, anything you want. Nuts. It's just how you cut it. So I guess what I'm trying to replicate is that sort of, Chili con carne, yeah. you know, meat but mince. Working filling. with these sorts of veg, so you've got some quite firm veg here, obviously the, the stalk of the broccoli, um, and then the beans, they're gonna hold their, their texture. But if when you're working with the, the kalets, the baby spinach, it, it's gonna start to wilt down and yeah. give it that almost that sauciness. Yeah, um, and which we're gonna, is what you want. We're gonna use some veggie stock as well to sort of soften it and, and you know, yeah, make it yeah. make it saucy, Beautiful. like well, you it's said. Smelling yeah. on the money. So, these are going in. Kalets, nicely shredded, go in. Then we're going to go in with our black beans. Next thing, spinach. And so this cooks quickly. This is just jam packed. Yep, Done. we're just going to add some veggie stock. Okay, sweet. Yep. So we'll pop that in there. And you hear that sizzle. So, what, what have you gone in with there? Like so, we've just gone in with three quarters of a cup of veggie stock. Yep. And what that's going to do as it comes up to temperature, we've got a nice sizzle happening there. Spinach wilts, not too much, because yep. we are going to put it in the oven with our chips. So we've got our corn chips on a baking tray. I really like to use natural corn chips, just season with salt. Royce. Corn Roy chips. Or wheat. Oh, Royce. Right. <laughs> so. Over the top? Yep, over the top. Pour. Yeah, go for it. Throw it on. It's nothing that glamorous about this. We just want to nice. get it in the oven. Cheese on top. Yep. That's it. Melty cheese all over. So they're gonna go, what's the other one? 180? 180, 10 minutes. Okay, Cheese sweet. melted, you know we want gooey, sort of cheesy, melty goodness. All right, so nachos in the oven, we've got 10 minutes. Avocados, what's happening with this guy? Uh, so we're gonna mash the avos. You can do that if you like. I can do that, yeah. <laughs> you I said you didn't want to do it. I knew you were gonna <laughs> flick past that to me. It's like, I'll stand over here, because. I don't want to deal with the avocados. <laughs> Look who ends up with the avocados. Right. Okay, we've got avocados. We're just going to mash them. Salt and pepper, lemon juice. Nothing simple, complicated about it. And then we're going to, just for a little bit more, uh, green veg. 
The zucchini, I love raw zucchini. So this is just your, trust your vegetable peeler and you just get these beautiful ribbons. And we're also going to use some jalapenos and the pickling liquid that the jalapenos oh, yeah. come in is nice. so yummy. And then I'm just going to run the knife through it very roughly. I really love spice, so I don't mind getting a big chunk of jalapeno, oh, but yeah. not everybody does. So if you want to chop it up funny, you can. And then just with the coriander, I'm just going to tear it over the top. Toss how, this together. How do you want that like? That's perfect, okay, yeah. So then I'm just going to toss this all together. I could eat it just like that. That looks really good. But that's what's going to go on top of our really yummy, cheesy. Break through that beautiful cheesy goodness. Mm. Alrighty, ready to roll. Our cheese is melted. Our corn chips are nice and crunchy. Nice. Out of it, <laughs> we have to wait. I'm just putting it back on. I'm just like, there we go, there. it's gotta be a part of the party. All right, now, for the fun bit, we've got this sort of, what it's would you call it? It's a salad. It is like a salad, it is isn't it? It is a salad. It? Yeah, so I'm going to just take it straight out of it's the like bowl. It's like a side salad, but on top. Yeah, and then I'm just going to sort of let that plait it uh, yeah, down the middle. See. That looks so good. And I love it, like the contrast is going to be the, there. You want all that spicy, fresh, and because it just sat there for five, 10 minutes while uh, the nachos was in the oven, it's kind of softened just slightly. So you're doing the... Well, I was trying to get a part of the food styling. <laughs> gonna get a little cucumber well. ribbon. Going okay, on. it's zucchini. All right. Got our beautiful little zucchini salad on there. Avocado. Just a few big hits of that. Yeah, just everywhere. It's, yeah, so you just put it there so they can dip into it. You don't need to have the stuff on the side. No. Bang, straight over no, the top. No, you want it in there so that every, you know, this is the sort of thing you want to put down, a handful of forks, mates are over. Forks? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> when you get down to the bottom, you need a fork. You no. just, all hands in. Yeah. yeah okay. And then you can't have nachos without sour cream. And they just go, it goes hand in hand with that. It. I'm gonna say it, that's probably some of the best nachos I've ever seen. Really? Yes, in, like, oh. well, visually, the moment, it's looking <laughs> out of this world. Yeah, I'm and gonna, then. Can I eat it? Yeah, just a little bit more coriander. Yum, get in, get into it. You don't like, you know, I'm not standing here going, Oh, it needs meat. No. Not at all. That is absolutely stunning. Jam packed full of flavour. It's got all the good gear that you'd mm -hmm. ever want with nachos. You got the salsa, you got the sour cream, you got the cheese, you got the chips. And a heap of veggies. And a heap of veggies. All green, so good. That for is you. sensational. Thank you. I'm glad Honestly, you like it. Honestly, <laughs> she can tell that I'm genuinely happy about this. <laughs> I'm just a little bit taken back. <laughs> no, honestly, that's that is ripping.